Stay in the zone during your next esports tournament or give yourself a pick me up during late night gaming sessions and punishing live streams with quantum energy. Created for gamers by gamers, the sugar free energy drink offers a balanced blend to give you a noticeable boost of energy without the nasty crash. Quantum energy drink is easy to carry around during gaming conventions or while you're on the road. There's no need to lug around heavy cans, this compact and lightweight tub fits easily into a backpack. Use the link in the description and when you check out the code GD for 10% off all orders. Hello YouTube, it's Dele C and welcome back to the Name My Project. Today boys we have a return. I haven't uploaded in over 12 days. Um, it's been a busy couple, over a week really, nearly two weeks for me. However, we're back on the grind. We're back uploading. I've got, you know, time again. So, we're back. Now you've missed a lot, you've missed a lot of rewards, you're going to see at the end of the video our team has been juiced from, you know, two weeks ago. So, you're going to see that massive inclusions into the side at the end of the video. You're going to see rewards, you're going to see me rip 100k packs with FIFA points, you're going to see all that good stuff. And as you can see on screen, we're going to use our Barca past and present squad in full champs qualifiers. So, you saw at the start... Yeah, I, don't, I don't even want to put in the player pick, but I'm, I'm not going to put it in. It just it gives me depression. However, we did a player pick. We spent 40k and we got Yari Litterman. I could not, but I'm not even going to include it. Like, uh, I don't even want to relive the moment of me doing a Icon player pick, seeing everyone else get ridiculous stuff, and then I get a Roy Keane, a Petr Cech, and a Yari Litterman in free player pick for Icon. Uh -uh. The worst case scenario, however, we're going to use him. We did use him. Four games, one goal, three assists, which isn't too bad. However, he's a donkey. He's one of the worst cards I've used in this game. He did score a 50 yard banger that you're going to see. However, this card is just shocking. Like, it's, it's horrible. I... Anyway, enough with him. How many games did he play for Barca? He played 32 games, four goals, so he was even a donkey for them. However, we did put him into the Barca past and present side. We did complete Eto loan as well, and you're going to see gameplay with him. Four games, six goals. For me, he was unbelievable. Really good. However, I don't know, I, he was a bit clunky at times. He wasn't as fluent as Mbappe. Definitely not as good as Mbappe. However, Mbappe is, you know, God tier. He's not God tier. However, he is still great, and we had great success with him. Four games, six goals in champs qualifiers. And then we also used Jordi Alba. We did sell him now. Well, you know, while I'm recording this part of the video for a purchase at the end of the video. I don't want to spoil it. However, he was quite good as well. And then we got Serginio Des, PK, Puyo. For me, they were fine. PK is like a, a rat. One game, he'll play like an absolute donkey and you want to sack him. But the next game, he'll play like Prime Ramos. For me, I don't get it. Sometimes good, sometimes useless. I don't get it. However, for the four games of this Foot Champs qualifiers, he was unreal. We finally used Frankie De Jong again. He's been great. And Coutinho as well. Coutinho just does Coutinho things. And then obviously Neymar and Messi just got here. So that is the team we basically played in this setup. 4-3-3 three, three with literally just this team. Um, so anyway, you're going to see gameplay now. We'll talk about the team more in depth. And then we'll get on to rewards and our new squad at the end of the video. Alright boys, so... How did we go with the Barca team? You're going to see we can play four games, four rage, oh, I think three rage quits out of the four games. And hey, on paper it doesn't look the best, but it played f unbelievable. Uh, sh really did. The midfield I thought was a bit weak defensively. You know, you really only got De Jong and then you've got Coutinho and Yari Littman. So, you know, they both give you no defensive abilities whatsoever. However, De Jong really held it down as a holding midfielder and then our attack just really carried us you know Eto, Messi and Neymar just did things and, and Coutinho did chip in a lot I have to admit Coutinho provided a lot a lot of goals uh, for us you're going to see in one game he scores two finesse shots outside of the box and the guy rage quits that's some unbelievable dribbling from Timothy and Messi and we win it in the 88th minute from Stoichkov off the bench so, you know, this is what this series is about, boys. Us building these past present teams and going in and trying to compete the best that we can. We we did, you know. 
as you can see, we've had full change qualifiers, four games, four wins, as easy as you like. Eto was quite, like, Eto was very, very good. The thing is, like, I have Mbappe, and there is no one better than Mbappe until we can get the Cruyffs and Maradonas of the world, which hopefully they give them as, as SBCs um, later down the track. Hopefully, fingers crossed, not now, um, you know, because... As you saw last year when they started giving us 91 plus times 10s and all that, you know, building those Icon SPCs were easy. Whereas now, even if they did give us a Maradona or Cruyff, it's, we're going to struggle to complete them at this time being because we don't want to sell Marquinhos uh, and Mbappe all together. So, you know, hopefully down the track they get released and then we can complete them. But yeah, um, you know, Eto is not better than Mbappe, so we're not going to be completing Eto at the moment. Later down the track, Icon Prime... Icon moments player picks if he pops up obviously we're going to take him if there's no other options for us But yeah, he's not better than Mbappe and if you have Mbappe and you're considering You know sending him and completing this SBC. I wouldn't personally because Eto is isn't at that Mbappe level Mbappe is like God tier and you know Eto is meta, but he's not God tier for for me personally um, and other than that boys defensively PK was unbelievable, but I guarantee if I put him into my champ squad this weekend, he'll be a donkey. So, he's he's one of those cards that when he is on fire, he's on fire, but when he's not, he's an absolute donkey. So, I don't know. And then, that's that 50-yard long shot from Yardy Littman Green Time. Unbelievable. Other than that, he did absolutely nothing for us. Again, Coutinho, Neymar, bang, Eto with a volley, half volley, scissor, unbelievable goal. Um, so, yeah, hey. Fantastic so far. This is the first time I've used this past and present Brazilian side in the weekend league. Uh, so yeah, um, we want to improve on it. There's going to be road to the final cards. So hopefully we get a Barca. Not hopefully, we will get a Barca card. So, you know, if we do pack him or if he's affordable, we'll be picking up that card and be adding it in to our past and present Barca side, obviously. So our rewards... You're going to see a red pick, we get Magnan, which is going to go straight into our first owner City R squad, so that's great. And then you're going to see from our two gold player pack, we get a Future Stars, Nunes as well. So that's that's not too bad. We were able to sell him. Uh, so, you know, we end up, I decided to take the risk on taking the tradable rewards in, in case we did pack a Future Stars, which we did. We actually ended up packing one. Uh, this pack was, I think this was the 50k, yeah, that's a shocking 50k, 83 uh, Kiesa, that's all we got from that, and you're going to see our 100k pack from rewards is a, not a walkout, so we basically would have been better off taking, we did get an inform and a couple 84s, we would have been better off taking the 40k plus the untradeable this week, um, but it's a risk that we did take, it didn't pay off, but that's alright. You're going to see us also opening up a couple of 100k packs with our own um, money, so FIFA points, because you're going to see at the end of this video, we're going to be upgrading the team massively. We're going to be bringing big, big players and some massive ones. Oh, like, you're going, to, you're going to see the team is insane at the end of this video. Uh, so we had to spend some money because I wanted to buy these players for the weekend league. And we did. You're going to see it right now, boys. So anyway, that is it for packs. You're going to see another 100k right here. And a couple more. And then you're going to see our new squad.
All right, boys. So this is the team that we're going to go into the weekend league with, and it is <laughs> it's disgusting. Four team of the years. First of all, um, we've just picked up team of the year Hakimi, and at the moment he's going to be playing at the right back position. But I do want to, you know, once we can get players um, in terms of defense wise to to be able to fit in Dest. Uh, then I want to play Hakimi into the midfield. But for this weekend, he could be playing right back. But once we're able to transition this card into our midfield, it's it's game over because this card's just insane. You could play him anywhere in you know anywhere on the field. It's just insanity. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. First of all, with 99 stamina, combine it with everything else, and it's it's just it's disgusting. So we picked him up for 660k. I haven't used the game yet with him, but um, I can't wait to do so. And hopefully, in terms of our defense now, you know, we don't leak any goals really. We've bought um, Ibanez, which is a disaster because 85k is now like, now 40k. So we've lost over 50% on him. However, aside from that, he is unbelievable. Uh, you know, we're talking about 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, 81 agility with 92 reactions, 85 ball control, insane defending stats, great physical stats. So he's been great. He's been really good. Medium height, six foot one, dives into tackles trait, which I absolutely love. You know, he plays with this trait, just more muck. And because when you don't control him, He's going to be putting in really hard challenges, really hard AI challenges without you even controlling him. So, dives into tackle trait is a very, very underrated trait in my opinion. And it does a lot of defending for you if your centre back has this trait. So, that's basically it um, in terms of, you know, the new players. Then, um, I'm not sure if you've seen Mbappe back into the squad, but yeah, we've brought Mbappe back as well. Uh, for me, best strike in the game. Simple as that, apart from R9. And, you know, maybe team of the year, Ronaldo. But other than that, Mbappe, Gold Mbappe, team of the year, Mbappe, headline is Mbappe. It's all the same thing. It's just Iron Man. So, you know, there's no one better than him in the shark position. So that is the team. Now, in terms of setting up, boys, we are going to be setting up in a 4-2-3-1 this weekend league. I've had really good success with it in Rivals so far. And this is basically the tactics that we're going to use in our 4-2-3-1. Balanced defensive style, 50 depth. Uh, sorry, 50 whip, 60 depth, balance, build up, direct passing as a chance creation, 70 whip, plays in the box nearly all the way up, corners one, free kicks one. In terms of instructions, Mbappe, we've got again behind, stay forward. We've got Neymar on come back, get into the box for crosses, same for Kaká. Messi, stay forward. Wijnaldum, cut passing lanes, cover center, stay back. So he's our holding midfielder. Paqueta, get forward, cover center, and then Roberto and Hakimi on stay back. So that is the team, boys, we're going to go into the weekend league with. Hopefully, we should do well. I'm aiming for 14 to 16 wins minimum. So, fingers crossed, that is how we go. We've put enough money into this team now. Like, it's insane. There's not much that we can do <laughs> to actually upgrade it. Apart from, you know, upgrading Wijnaldum to a CDM. At some time, I've, I've opened packs, you've seen, I've put in money into this week to try to pack that Pedri, however, we, we didn't. Unfortunately, when we get Pedri, I do not know, but maybe at the end of the year, because at the time being, it's 2 million coins, and we just, eh, I'm going to have to pump in 2k worth of my money to, to be able to even get him, and that's if we get him at that price tag. But anyway, boys, this is the team, the best team we're going to go into the weekend league with so far, hands down. And I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to get into champs with this team. Anyway, boys, that is the end of the video. As always, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell. And as always, remember, relax, have a yours. I'll be back in the next video.